Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to Mass Madison and I. As you all know, I'm your presenter, Jefferson. And today on the board, we have solving determinants of matrix. When you are giving questions to solve on matrix using determinants, what do you do? How do you go about it? So today we are going to be looking at solving determinants of 2x2 two two matrix and also solving determinants of 3x3 three three matrix. So without wasting time, let us begin the class. We have three questions today to work with. And um, question number one says, um, in matrix of A is equal to 4, 1, 3, 4, 4, 1, 3, 4, Come on, find, find this. Now, class, look up. Whenever you see two straight lines and a matrix inside, it simply means you are looking for the determinants of that matrix. Now, either they write it like this, determinants of A, or they write like this, DET of A. Now, DET simply means the short form for saying determinants. We call it that A. Okay, the short form for determinant. So, like I said, either the lines are straight or they give it as what? Well, that's A. Now, how do we solve for determinants of two by two matrices? Because we have two rows and two columns. So, this is a two by two matrix. Now, how do we solve for determinants? It is very simple and short. Now, this is what we do. Now, determinants of A becomes, now, this element times this element minus this element times this element. So here becomes 4 times 4 minus 3 times 1. 4 times 4 minus 3 times 1. Now 4 times 4 is 16 and 3 times 1 is 3. Now 16 minus 3 will give us 13. So it means when we solve for the determinants of 4, 1, 3, 4, the result we are going to get is 13. How did that go about it? This element times this element minus this element times this element. And we are done with it. Now, going to question number two for today without wasting time. Now, question number two says, if x1, 4, 2 is equal to 10, find x. Now, we are looking for the value of x in this question. But you will notice that in this matrix, the lines are straight. So what does that tell you? It means we are going to look for the determinants of this matrix and then equate this to 10. So how did I say you solve determinants of 2 by 2 matrix? This times this minus this times this. So automatically, it becomes x times 2 minus 4 times 1 is equal to 10. Now, x times 2 is 2x, 4 times 1 is 4, is equal to 10. Now, there is no way that we can subtract 4 from 2x, because why? They are on like terms. 2 is carrying variable, x minus 4 is carrying no x. So what do I do, class? I collect like terms. Now, minus 4, we meet 10, because both are not carrying x. Now, when minus 4 crosses the equality sign, it becomes plus 4. So what do we have left here? 2x is equal to 10, minus 4 becomes plus 4. So that's what we have. 2x becomes 10 plus 4 will give us 14. Now, we are looking for x. Now, for x, so for we to get the value of x, x has to be the subject of the formula. And how can x become the subject of the formula? By making x stand alone. Now, for x to stand alone, everything making x not to stand alone must be removed. And what is that? It is 2. So how do we delete 2 out? It becomes divide both sides by the 2. Now, when 2 cancel out 2, what do we have left here? x. So what is 14 divided by 2? 7. So you see, this is how you can work with 2 by 2 determinants. Just multiply this times this minus this times this. No matter how the question is being what given. So imagine we have something like this. Apart from this question on the board, imagine we have something like this. Let's take a look at this question now. Just you know, a bonus question. Imagine we have 2x for 1, 2 is equal to 3, 1, 4, 2. Okay, take a look at this question. Now, it is easy 
Discipline means determinant of this matrix and the determinant of this matrix. And what do we do now? Here becomes 2x times 2 minus 1 times 4 equal to 3 times 2 minus 4 times 1. Simple. Now, 2x times 2 gives us 4x minus 1 times 4 gives us 4. 3 times 2 gives us 6 minus 4 times 1 gives us 4. Now, there is no way we can subtract 4 from 4x because 4 is not carrying x. What happened? Minus 4 goes to the right hand side. So, what will be left here? 4x is equal to 6 minus 4. When this minus 4 crosses, it becomes plus 4. So, without wasting time, what do we have, class? 4x is equal to 6 minus 4 will give us 2, and 2 plus 4 will give us 6. Now, for us to make x stand alone, what do we divide this now? By 4. So, here becomes over 4, and here becomes over 4. When 4 cancel out, for what do we have left? 6. Class, what can divide 6 and 4? 2. 2 into 6 is 3, 2 into 4 is 2. So, the value of x becomes what? 3 over 2. Now, this is just a bonus question on that determinant of 2 by 2. Now, without wasting time, the last question on the board, which is determinant of 3 by 3, how do we go about it? Now, it is different from 2 by 2. Even the names are different. 2 by 2, 3 by 3, they are not the same. So, I will, be, uh, I will be using two methods. Two methods to solve 3 by 3 determinants. Now, I don't want you to prefer. I don't want you to choose. I want you to know the both of them. Because when you choose one, it's, it, it comes a time when that's one that you choose fail you. Then what would you do if it is an examination condition? So try to understand the two, try to work with the two, and try to digest the two. Now, working with method one in question number three. Now, question number three says evaluate one, four, three, one, zero, one. 2, 1, 3. Okay, now you all know, as you can see, the lines are straight. It is different from this. It is straight. So it simply means determinants. Now, how do you solve determinants using method 1? Method 1. Now, when you are using method 1 class, these numbers, these elements inside this matrix actually have signs. Now, the signs are plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus but in this case it depends on the row that you want to use that determines the signs you are working with but in this case i will be using row one so because i'm using row one there is no need for all these other signs because I am using row 1, so I just need the signs for row 1, which are plus, minus, plus. Now, how do I begin it? Now, my first element I have here is 1. I'll bring it out. Now, the elements under 1, I won't write. The element beside 1, I won't write. In front of 1, I won't write. So, what are the elements left here? 0, 1, 1, 3. So, I'll bring it out. 0, 1, 1, 3. Then I close. Now, what's my next sign here? My, this, my sign here is what? Minus. Now, what number do I have here? 4. So, I open again. The elements under 4, I won't. The elements in size of 4, I won't. So, what are the elements I'm writing? 1, 1, 2, 3. So, here it comes. 1, 1, 2, 3. I close. Now, my last number I have there is plus 3. I open. These two, I won't write. These two, I won't write. So, what am I writing? 1, 0, 2, 1. Now, you will notice that this, this, this are determinants of 2 by 2 matrix. And we said in determinants of 2 by 2 matrix, this times this minus this times this. So let's begin the class. It becomes 1 into bracket. 0 times 3 will give us 0 minus 1 times 1 will give us 1 minus 4. 1 times 3 will give us 3 minus 2 times 1 will give us 2 plus 3. 1 times 1 will give us 1 minus 2 times 0 will give us 0. Now, working with the numbers inside the bracket, we have this. 1 into bracket, 0 minus 1 will give us minus 1. 3 minus 2 will give us 1. 1 minus 0 will give us 1. So, opening the bracket with the numbers outside the bracket, we have this. 1 times minus 1 gives us minus 1. Minus 4 times 1 gives us minus 4. And plus 3 times 1 gives us what? 3. So, automatically, 
Naturally, what does minus mean? Minus mean you owe. Plus mean you paid. Now, this minus here shows that you are owing somebody one. And the minus again shows you are owing again four. Now, you have not paid the person this one you were owing. You came back and get and borrowed another four. Now, how many are you owing that person now? Five. Now, God so doing it, you had three. You were able to pay, plus me you paid. You were able to pay three out of the five you were owing. Now, how much are you still owing? Two. So, what sign will show you are owing? Minus. So, the answer becomes minus two. Using method one, it becomes minus two. How did I go again? I picked the first number, the two numbers I don't write, the two numbers I don't write, so I write this four here. The next number is minus four, I bring it out. The two numbers I don't write under minus four, the two numbers beside I don't write. So what do I have? One, one, two, three, here. Last number plus three. The two numbers I don't write, the two numbers I don't write. So what do I have? One, one, zero, sorry, one, zero, two, one. So I look for the determinants of two by two, and then I got minus two. Now, class, using method two, let us see if we are still going to get minus two as our result. Now, what do you do when you use method two? First of all, you don't need these signs anymore. You don't. Now, what do we do? Watch. Let's come back to the question. One, four, three. One, zero, one, two, one, three. Now, this was the, the original question. Now, this is what you do. The first column here, you, re you, you, you repeat it again. One, one, two. The second column, you repeat again. Four, zero, one. Then you close. Class, don't repeat the talk. Only the first and second. When you repeat the first and second, you will now notice that the matrix becomes a three by five matrix. Because why? I have three rows, but I have class five columns. Now, when you have this, what do you do next, class? You start multiplying three, three, three. I can't multiply these two numbers. Why? Because they are not up to three. So when I check out my first three elements here, it is one, zero, three. So multiplying them now. One times zero gives us zero. Zero times three gives us zero. So here it becomes zero plus. Now my next three combination is four, one, two. Four times one gives us four. Four times two gives us eight. Plus, my last three combination is three, three, one, one. Three times one is three. Three times one is three. Then you close. Then you say minus. Now you begin from your right to your left. And from my right to my left, the first three combinations I have there are 4, 1, 3. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus, my next three combination is 1, 1, 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus, my last three combination is 3, 0, 2. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Then you close. Now let's work with numbers in, inside the bracket. 0 plus 8 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. Minus. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 plus 0 is 13. Class, 11 minus 13 will give us minus 2. So you see, even using method 1 or using method 2, we are still going to get the same result, which is negative 2. So class, we have come to the end of today's class, which is, which is determinants of matrix. And I believe you've learned something new today. And please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you enjoyed the class, say something about the class. If you, there's something else you want us to talk about, say it. And also, don't forget to share. Because the more we share this, the more we share this, the more people that want to know about this, get this. Till we meet again in our next class, always remember, education pays. God bless you. Thank you.